Yellowstone supervolcano, scientists are pinpointing first sign to tell an eruption is imminent. Scientists pinpointed the first sign that an eruption could be coming at the supervolcano of Yellowstone, one of the 21 supervolcanoes of the Earth. Supervolcanoes have a volcanic explosivity index VEI of 8 being the highest, the highest value on the index. It's a logarithmic scale, so an increase of one VEI number is the equivalent of tenfold increase in volume of eruption material. The Mount St. Helens eruption of 1980, which caused around $3.5 billion in worth of damage, measured, measured 5 on the VEI scale. Mount Tambora, the biggest recorded eruption in history, recorded a 7 on the VEI scale. The three caldera forming eruptions at Yellowstone, one of 20 known supervolcanoes on Earth, tw more than 21 actually, were each around 1,000 times larger than the Mount St. Helens eruption of 1980. Yellowstone supervolcano erupted 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and about 640,000 years ago, which was a double eruption. And uh, we've had uh, since uh, 70,000 years ago, there was a last lava eruption and another 80 eruptions since then. Now, based on this scale, it's due to, uh, to an eruption, though there are no signs that this will happen anytime soon. Nonetheless, Naked Science 2004 documentary on supervolcanoes explored what would happen in the event of such an eruption from Yellowstone. All volcanoes warn that they are about to erupt, explained the documentary's narrator. He said the first sign of a Yellowstone eruption would probably be ground rising. That's the inflating of the ground due to the magma inflating. So just before Mount St. Helens erupted, the mountain bulged, growing five feet per day. A similar kind of uplift would be likely at Yellowstone. As magma deep below the surface of the earth rises, it splits the rocks above. In Yellowstone, it would probably lift the whole caldera, an area the size of Houston and Dallas, 10 feet into the air. And such warning signs, the documentary says, would trigger the mother of all evacuations. An area 60 miles around the volcano would become a hazard zone, and officials would place a surrounding region, the surrounding region up to 200 miles on alert. The narrator concluded, continued, as people evacuate the area, geologists would look out for new warning signs that would tell them an eruption is imminent. Professor Bill McGuire, one of the UK's leading volcanologists, said it would start to see swarms of earthquakes as fresh magma moves into the system and breaks the rock above it and starts to rise upward. These earthquakes would produce distinctive waveforms of the seismographs. The crack of rocks fracturing creates a waveform that begins with a sharp rise and fades quickly. Long before an eruption, the hazard zone and surrounding area would be hit by the earthquakes. And just before an eruption, these earthquakes would give way to a new signal, a long continuous vibration. Professor McGuire explains, now when magma is opening a, a space for itself, it will start to move through that. And as it moves through that fairly rapidly, it will vibrate the walls of the crack on the conduit, and that will give you a rumbling signal. The vibration, which sounds like a large organ pipe, is called a harmonic tremor. This is the final warning before an eruption. The documentary narrator said, for anyone brave or foolish enough to remain in the hazard zone, the chances of escape would be slim, the big bang would be moments away, and the eruption itself would undoubtedly be huge, but nothing in comparison to the subsequent pyroclastic flow, often dubbed the wall of death, that engulfed the ancient Roman city of Pompeii. Analysis of earthquake data at Yellowstone in 2013 found that the magma chamber is 50 miles long and 12 miles wide. It also has an estimated underground volume of 4,000 cubic kilometers, two and a half times bigger than previously imagined. But the analysis also said that proportion of molten rock in the chamber is too low to allow for another super eruption. It was refuted by research from the Arizona State University in 2017, which indicated Yellowstone's magma reservoir can undergo rapid change by supervolcano standards 
and can reach eruptive capacity within decades. This is by Charlie Pittock on Express UK. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.